So for some reason, I completely forgot to do a Nikola stock update last week after the company reported earnings, and I figured, hey, better late than never. Let's do it now. We'll break down the charts, go over my thoughts, key levels. We'll break down the numbers, earnings, all that good stuff. But before we do that, don't forget to get your free money for Moomoo, Moo, the sponsor of today's video. Listen, guys, once you open up your account and fund it with at least 100 bucks using that link down below, you get five stocks right off the bat. And once you fund your account at least, a thousand dollars on top of those five stocks you get 10 more stocks totaling 15 stocks and mind you guys all of those stocks could be valued up to two thousand bucks and it gets even better fund your account at least five thousand dollars on top of those 15 stocks you also get a free share of either tesla stock or expedia stock which that part of the promo is limited time so use that link down below get on it guys i appreciate you all as always and with that being said cheers let's dive into it so at this point you guys have probably seen Nikola stock has not been doing so well especially today on Monday or not Monday Tuesday I'm losing track of the days here guys when I'm making this video currently it's down 7.3 percent and it is around 2 20 2 30 p.m when I'm making this video so we're almost you know heading towards close right now and that is really uh you know continuing the the move we're seeing today is continuing the sell-off that we've seen over the past couple of days you guys can see Nikola when the company reported earnings it was at about three 360 370 the earnings came out then boom it dumped down to about 240 then on friday or yesterday actually monday it went down to 207 we took the lows out clearly uh, from Friday, and now we're pretty much right at the lows from yesterday, being about 207, 210. Now Nikola is at 222 at the uh, you know at the making of this video. So clearly we're continuing the downtrend. No signs of a reversal in sight. So let's see what they ended up reporting. Then we'll look at the larger time frames. Actually, we'll break down the numbers quickly, dive into the actual earnings release. We'll look at that very quickly. Then we'll break down the larger time frames at the end of the video. So make sure you guys stick on throughout. So look, at this point, they just reported, I think on the 4th, right? Yeah, that was on Thursday. Yeah, that was on Thursday. They reported, or was it Friday? Either way. Actually, no, that was on Friday. Either way, they reported EPS of negative 20 cents, which beat the negative 22 cents expected, and they missed on revenue, guys. 15.36 million versus 15.43 million expected. So mixed bag earnings out of Nikola. And the big thing here, guys, is their CEO. I can't even uh, pronounce this name, but I think it's Lashler, Lashler, or whatever the heck. Uh, they stepped down effective immediately, and Chairman Gursky is named the new CEO. So they missed revenue. The company's already pretty risky as is. The CEO stepped down, new CEO, management change. A lot's going on, guys. A lot's going on, and the stock pretty much sold off. Uh, due to that, I would you know I would argue that the CEO change had a little bit to do with the stock selling off, or maybe a lot of it. Um, you know, a lot of the sell-off was due to that. I don't know. But overall, that's what we saw. And they expect revenue between 18 to 28 million. That's a pretty big range in Q3. And they expect 60 to 90 trucks to be delivered in Q3, uh, or Q3, Q3, which is not bad. And I'm sure the fact that a couple of firms here cut their targets, or at least one of them here, I'm sure that, um, you know, I'm sure the fact that that's happening isn't helping the stock either. I mean, that's definitely fueling the fire to the downside. Nikola stock price cut to two dollars and fifty cents from three dollars at da davidson let me see any other analysts or firms here or anything uh nothing else but there you know they did get cut from that firm there and on top of the ceo leaving revenue miss i'm sure this is all contributing uh, to the sell-off. So let's dive into these earnings a little bit more in depth. Let's do it. So check it out, guys. And by the way, you can find all this on Nikola Investor Relations. Just type that in on Google, freaking Bing. I don't know what search engine you guys use, but just type that in and, and it'll pop up. It's easy. Anybody could find it. Go do it right now if you guys want to or after the video. Either way, we're going to run through it right now. So during the second quarter, we made substantial progress and we is, is Nikola, right? on the realignment of resources with our strategic 
priorities. You guys can see here continued they continued building sales momentum delivering 45 wholesale and 66 retail battery electric trucks, the best retail quarter to date, which is good. They increased their unrestricted cash position by 107 million dollars while substantially reducing their adjusted free cash flow to below their 150 million dollar target for the quarter you guys can see that right there and they raised 233 million dollars uh through capital raise and asset monetization and improved visibility into future capital needs to fully fund the business model which is good and i'm sure you guys remember but or no rather but they closed down battery production operations of uh, Romeo Power and are establishing a battery pack line in Coolidge, which I forget exactly where that is, uh, for their battery electric trucks. And they completed the sale of European joint venture to Iveco and made substantial progress in the development of the hydrogen refueling ecosystem with partners, guys. And we can see a bunch of other things. Uh, here, hydrogen fuel cell electric truck on July 31st, 2023. You guys can see they officially began serial production of the hydrogen fuel cell electric truck and the first customer deliveries are expected to take place in September and to date, 18 customers have placed orders for over 200 hydrogen fuel cell electric trucks with Nikola and dealers. And during the second quarter, the remainder of the 10 Gamma trucks were fully built and commissioned and Gamma trucks will be used in the final vehicle validation and customer pilot testing. So those are some highlights here, guys. Of course, we could talk more. Uh, actually, wait a second. Let's see this right here. This table is actually... Uh, pretty useful. So you guys can see this is 2023 compared to 2022. On the left, we have 2023. On the right, we have uh, 2022, right? So trucks produced year over year, guys, uh, they're actually under what they were last year. Trucks shipped as well, and total revenues are down as well. Revenues last year were $18.1 million. Now they came in at $15.3 million. Not the best sign, guys. And gross margins gotten even worse, although net loss from continuing operations year over year has narrowed, which is good. Uh, but then again, net loss has gotten worse. They lost 217 Think about this, guys. Million dollars. They're losing $217 million when they're only bringing in revenues of $15 million. That is just ridiculous. Unfreaking believable. That's what we're dealing with here, guys. And look at this. Weighted average shares outstanding, basic and diluted. I mean, holy crap, that has exploded. So talk about dilution overall uh, with this you know, particular stock, guys, this company in general. Uh, that's what they're doing to stay afloat. I mean, when you're only making 15 uh, million in revenue and they're losing 220 million dollars, uh, they have to raise capital somehow to continue the operations, guys. That's what companies do, right? So let me actually come back over here to the charts and point out one key thing here before we do wrap up this video. By the way, I appreciate all of you for tuning in. If you have not hit that like button yet, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe. We're so close to 30,000 subs and that's been a goal of mine for a while. I appreciate all of you for tuning in, your support throughout the years or the months or the weeks, however long you've been watching. Let me know how long you've been watching, by the way, in the comments. Uh, either way, I appreciate all your support as always. So Nikola right now is down. We all know 7% on the day, you know, whatever percent, uh, 40% in the past couple of days, which is just insane. We understand that. And with that, guys, now we're actually at a very big spot on the four hour chart. You guys can see right now we're above the 180 SMA, which is right around 195, two bucks per share on this time frame. And mind you guys, this spot has held over the past couple of months, pretty, uh, you know, pretty religiously, right? Sure. It was under that point when it got to 50 cents and it was under the 180 SMA and the 50 SMA for months, pretty much straight from February all to June. So for four months, uh, but since that point we've reversed and that was just in the beginning of June, about two months ago, we've, you know, ever since that point, we've been holding the spot. So let's see if we rally off of it again. You know, even though it's down 40%, which is nuts from all time, or not all time highs, it's down way more than that from all time highs. But from the recent highs, 
uh, you know, it's still holding the uptrend, you know, even though it's down 40%. So let's see if buyers come in 195, 2, 225, 215. This could be a spot where we could, keyword is could, get another rally. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And before you click off the video, don't forget to get up to 16 stocks for Moomoo. Again, use that link down below. Once you open up your account and fund it with at least 100 bucks, you get five stocks right off the bat. And once you fund your account at least $1,000, you get 10 more stocks totaling 15 stocks. I know it's crazy, guys. Each of those could be valued up to 2,000 bucks. Once you fund your account at least $5,000 on top of those 15 stocks, you also get a free share of either Tesla stock or Expedia stock. And that's only for a limited time, guys. So use that link down below. And of course, full disclosure, that is an affiliate link. It helps out the channel. And check out my Patreon as well if you guys are interested. All the details are down below. And with that being said, cheers. I'll see you later.